This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, to receive a M-A-R-K in their right H-A-N-D or in their F-O-R-E H-E-A-D-S. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this was this is a uh, movie review. Uh, we was watching this uh, movie, uh, Implanted, and this is a uh, quick little sit down lesson of the review of the uh, movie Implanted that we watched in class. I said about like two weeks ago. What our elder, elder Benji, and the rest of the brothers as well too. We had uh, did a. Uh, we was in class uh, two weeks ago. I said about two Mondays ago. <clears throat> we uh, watched the movie and Planet, and you know I'm doing a little quick sit down uh, movie review of it. As you've seen, I brought out uh, Mark 13. I mean uh, Revelations 13 to 16. You know, and as regards to the MOTB, you know, and you know watching this movie. You know, and it, it had a uh, regards to the MOTB, which is that Caracla, you know, and in the movie, you know, she had that uh, thing that was implanted inside of her body and it was telling her what to do and stuff like that. And then, like, you, like, gain, gain the riches of this world, you know, and you uh, be entangled with the MOTB. You know, and that uh, computerized thing was uh, inside of her, you know, and it was telling her what to do and certain things she can't do, things she need to do. You know, it's going to be consequences if she don't do certain things as the uh, robotic thing that was inside of her telling her what to do. If she don't do it, it's going to be serious consequences and repercussions of her uh, family and stuff like that. You know, I'm not trying to uh, spoil the alerts in the movie, but, you know, I'm just doing like uh, certain examples of the movie as we watched it about two weeks ago and doing a little uh, quick, you know, movie review of it in regards to the MOTB which is going to uh, come to reality as well, too. You know, if you take that MOTB, you know, you're going to be conformed to this world, you know. And that's uh, Esau's Edom uh, society, you know. And the men of the Lord, you know, uh, starting with the elders and apostles on down, you know, the water yell by Shem al for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to, to not take that uh that karagma or that MOTB, you know, because it's fastly approaching. Because we're entering in a, a digital age, a full, full uh, a full implement of uh that full digital currency, and that's what this movie showed in it. You know, if you take that, you know what the MOTB, that karagma, you know, have it inside your body. Or in your F O R E H E H A D S, or the right part of your body, which is uh, your H A N D, you know, and taking that, uh, you know, that Karagma, that M O T B, you know, you be conformed to the ways of this world, you know, because you're not really free, you know. So we're entering that time of, because uh, you get these subliminal messages in these movies and stuff like that. You know, it'd be like apocalyptic movies. You were thinking it's not real, but it's actually real. And it shows you subliminal messages of it. And that's what this movie was. It shows you subliminal message, you know. 
you know, it's certain things that you want to do, you know, you got to uh, listen to the person that's uh, inside your body, digital, digitalized, computerized, that was, uh, was forced upon you, you know, because at first you was, uh, had fully interest in it, but you had like a change of mind, which is James 1 and 8. A double mind uh, person is unstable in all his ways, and I'm gonna bring that scripture out as well too. That's either you conform to the MOTB, and once you do it, then you have to change your heart. You know, that's why you have about Shemuel Shai's code with these scriptures. I tell you, these holy scriptures are, is is beautiful, man. Uh, let's see. This is the book of James, chapter one, verse eight. A hey, double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Right, because an unstable man is unstable in all his ways. Either you, you're going to stick to one thing or you're going to have a change of heart and stick with another. You can't stick with the uh, both sides, the left hand or right hand sides. Because it's going to be unstable and it's going to be unbalanced, you know. And this is another scripture right here. Matthew 6 and 24 and then it goes into you you down with the heavenly father or you down with the uh the b-e-a-s-t system which is going to be fully implemented very soon and it's going to be fully mandatory with the full digital currency either you down with uh Yao Bashimao Shah or you down with this uh society of this new in this NWO agenda that's coming very soon because we're seeing increasing signs of it. You know, with December 13th coming up with that central bank of uh, Joe Biden came up with, and we're seeing these uh, different countries uh, uh, getting close, pl places like uh, Nigeria, India, China, Russia, with these uh, digital currencies, you know. And they implementing that uh that MOTB and that corrupt in order to uh, sustain yourself in the society of your everyday lifestyle, which is you think is normal. You're gonna you're gonna have to comply to with this B E A S system, or you're down with the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well too. And this is and that's what uh it shows subliminal message in that movie implement, you know, cause. It was messing with her everyday life. It was messing with her job. You know, she was uh, homeless. And she wanted to see her mom and the computerized thing that was inside of her, telling her in order to see your mom, you know, you gotta do this. You know, you gotta be violent towards somebody, you know. Otherwise, if you don't comply, I'ma uh, deteriorate your body and I'ma mess you up. You know, I'ma choke you to death mess you up anything like that and if you if she don't comply to it so this what we're uh in the future we're getting close to the future of the uh increase of this uh mltb technology system because once the uh that, you know once the uh paper dollar be no more in existence that full implementing of a uh, mandatory digital currency is coming because we're seeing signs of that and this is the book of Matthew, chapter 20, uh, Matthew 6 and 24. And no man can serve two masters. That's either you're down with the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, or you're uh, the ways of this world, which is run by Esau, Edom. Because Job 9 and 24 is, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and he covered the faces of the judges thereof. And the judges is uh, Yahweh Basham El Shai, you know. And the prophets, uh, the ain't the prophets of old, you know. So it's better to be down with the heavenly Father, rather than trying to uh, fit in in the ways of this world, you know. They they showing it in our faces, you know, with these subliminal messages in these movies, and the news articles, and these political leaders, they showing it. And you see these news articles in the news of uh, they about to uh, bring out the MOTB. We're seeing signs there, especially everyday basis in the news, you know. 
And that's what this uh, movie and planet is all about, you know. Have that thing, uh, that MOTB inside you, you know. It is on your top of your F O R H E D A D or the the uh, right part of your body, you know, of your H A N D, you know, that uh, as I mentioned in Revelations 13 and 16, Matthew 6 and 24, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Or he will hold to one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh thy power in mammon. Right, because mammon, the, the, the uh, ruler of this world, you know, Job 9 to 24, the earth is getting into the hand of the wicked. Because, you know, devil just means to deceive. You know, he deceived the whole world, you know. So you can't serve mammon, the man of, man of this world. You know, then you can't serve the Heavenly Father. That's just like you can't sit at the table with the Heavenly Father and, and the deceiver at the same time. It doesn't work that way, you know. And that's what that movie in Planet going, goes into the movie or the review of it, you know. Because <clears throat> you're going to have that, uh, that MOTB and, you know, that MOTB, that Karakma inside of you, you know. And you can't have, uh, it's like you being uh, fully controlled, being told what to do. Certain times you have to uh, go to bed. Certain times you, you, you got to, uh, like, this thing is telling you what to do, you know. You're not having control of your own self. You're just like a moving robotic thing that's inside of you telling you what to do, you know. So that's... And that's what we're entering into that MOTB, you know, just like that. Uh, I believe it was that Tesla commercial. I mean, uh, Tesla they showed on the news about uh, early August or late July. They had this guy uh, had something inside of his body, and he was scanning it through his car. You know, he was scanning it. Uh, they show. Uh, they show when you know you you can scan things through your body at like at a grocery store or you had on your job or you had a, a movie theater or you making transactions i mean we already know they got like uh self checkouts you know when you're going up to a grocery store you have your items uh, the items that you already had you know you had a grocery store like walgreens or jewels for an example or kmart or walmart whatever you know, you uh, do a quick transaction rather than cash or a credit card swipe. You know, you you make the transactions through your, that's already inside your body. You make a quick transaction, you know. Hey, Esau Edom is trying to make you form the ways of this world, you know, and not the ways of having fought and it's only begotten son, you know. And that's what that, uh, that movie and planet was showing subliminal message about that having this having this digit having this device that was inside of you telling you what to do you know you can't fully control your own life you know that's the m-a-r-k which is coming very soon you know which is uh revelations 13 and 16 you know so that's a uh, showing of a subliminal message you know, and it's a movie uh, upgrade as well, too. I believe we're going to be uh, seeing that movie very soon as well, too. So, yeah, hey. Yeah. And I'm going to go back to Revelations 13 and verse 16. You know, so that movie was showing some subliminal message. That's what's actually going to be coming a reality, you know. Of this uh, M A R K B E A S T society that we are entering into, that Karagma, you know. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, to receive the M A R K in their right hand or in their forehead. Right? That's that M O T B, that Karagma, you know. That Karagma season is coming, you know. That everything is going to be uh, fully uh, digital. You know, we're going to live in a, a, a full, uh, a full mandatory uh, cashless society. 
and we're approaching that, you know. And as you've seen uh, what happened over there in Lebanon, you know, even though that story was swept under the rug, but they were still talking about it. But, you know, that's just a prime example of what's going to come to modern day Babylon, you know. Because everything, because your, your, your cash that you got, your savings, or what you saved up in the bank, your checkings, your savings, your 401k plan, you know, because all that is going to be digital. Your personal information, your state ID, your social security card, all that is going to be digitized, and that's going to be inside your body, you know, or your F F O R H A D S. You know, your personal information, your contact information, just like your contact information got on your cell phone and stuff like that, or your personal information that you have in your ID or your wallet. I mean, not your ID, it's <laughs> like meant to say your uh, wallet or personal papers that you put up, you know, because it's your personal information. Hey, because all that is going to be digitized. Everything is going to be full mandatory digital. And that's what that movie Implanted you know a review of that as i'm doing you know sit down that's a review of that you know that's showing a subliminal message of what's about to come you know that MOTB. because we're seeing signs of that like i mentioned before you know they got the uh because you already got these other nations already in the process of doing it you know just like they had about i think last year or a couple of months ago they had over there in switzerland they entering a full digital currency just like I mentioned before, in order to be able to get to your job, in and you know, in and out of your job, gonna have that uh stuff uh inserted inside you to make uh <clears throat> to insert to uh, swipe up to make a swipe to get back and forth inside your job, even the bus transportations, hey, even in your even in your car as well too gonna have something uh possibly inside of you to start up your car to unlock your car lock your car you know because they showed that in that uh tesla uh on the news they had a uh, i believe it was like a month or two ago they was uh showing a uh, showcasing that of what's about to come in the near future you know and that's why they uh uh, replacing, I mean, even though everybody knew about this already, they trying to have uh, humans being replaced with robots on the on the job and stuff like that. Hey, because we are living in, we're getting close to uh, living in that that NWA NWO uh, agenda that's about to be pushed very soon, and that uh 2030, you know, of uh, everybody coming together in that uh NWO. Uh, agenda, you know, and that's fastly approaching, and we living in that full digital age, you know, even though we already know technology, you know, been advanced quite some time, and it's going to advance even more, you know, with that MOTV, you know, because all your personal information, your state ID, uh, your driver's license, your personal bills, even though we already know, like, nowadays, you know, you, you hardly get your bill in the mail, but it'd be like paperless, you know, with certain things like that. You know, you look at your bill in the mail, it comes in the mail like your bill is due. You know, they they uh give you an option if you want it paperless or you just want it uh regular paper that comes in the mail with your bill and stuff like that. Hey, that's one uh that's society uh that's coming in in the in the near future of uh everything is going to be uh, fully uh, digital, you know? And that's what that movie Implanted was showing subliminal message about a hey, we're entering in the uh, age of uh, the MOTB, you know? That Karagma, you know? And this is a uh, and this is for the people that's not going to take that M-A-R-K, you know. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. And a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the B-E-A-S-T in his image and receive his 
M A R K on his F O R E H E A or in his hand. Revelations 14 and 10. Let me, Salakia, let me rephrase that. If you take the M O T B or the Quran, this is what's going to happen according to the Holy Scriptures. And I'm going to read it again. I had to rephrase that, Salakia. Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the B E A S T in his image and receive a M A R K in his F O R E H A D S or in his hand. Revelations 14 and 10. The cell shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh thy power which is poured out without mixture in the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right. Because if you take that uh, M-A-R-K-B-A-E-A-S-T or the top of your F-O-R-E, F, I mean H-A-E-A-D-S, or the right part of your H-A-N-D, you know, if you take that, and that's what you, that's the results you're gonna get. But the ones that that's not gonna take it, because you know, the men of the Lord, the true servants, true prophets, is not gonna uh, you know, not gonna take that, you know, starting with the elders and apostles on down in that order. You know, Lord willing, we're not gonna take that MOTB or that karagma that's coming very soon, you know. We're going to follow the ways of Yahweh Bashan Al Shai and have a salvation, you know. And if you take that M A R K, you know, you disqualify for a, a salvation. You know, you're going to burn in the lake of fire, you know. And that's what that scripture statement is right there, you know. In Revelation, I'm going to go back to Revelation 13 and verse 16 again. Revelations 13 and 16, he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, right? If you rich and poor, free of bond, you know, even if from the richest person to the poorest person, hey, if you take that M-A-R-K, you know, you know, you know, you you are in the ways of uh, Esau Eden, you know, trying to conform to his ways, trying to sustain yourself in this society, you know. Like, uh, you need to go grocery shopping for your family, you know, be able to get back to point A to point B or on your job to be able to sustain yourself to keep your job, to be able to sustain yourself to have food in your house, all the important stuff that you need to uh, get back and forth to your job, your school, your kids go to school, to be able to maintain you and your friends and family to be able to maintain yourself in this society. And that's what it's gonna come, you know, come down to. Either you down with this uh, NWO world that's uh, entering very soon. If you are the continuing ways to follow Esau Edom, or you down with Yahweh by Chanel Shai, which is the Heavenly Father, uh, Yahweh, that's his true name, and his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shai. You know, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. If you're down with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, or you're down with this uh, B E A S T system, you know, or the M A R K, to receive it on two parts of your body. The upper part of your body and the right side of your hand as well, too. That's that M O T B, that Karak, because we're entering in that very soon. You know, in that movie, in planning, you know, it's showing subliminal signs of that, you know, because we are getting close to entering that, entering the times of uh, the MOTB, you know, like the scripture says, the, the devil should come down with great wrath because he you know he had but a short time. And that's Esau either, you know, because he's going to try to ultimately force that CHIP on you, you know, to be able to maintain yourself in this society and that's coming very soon you know that MOTB along with uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7 you know Jacob's Trump along with it as well too because they definitely heavily pushing that uh, MOTB that Karak 
that full uh, digital currency because we're entering that full digital currency. Either you down with this system or you down with your, what the hell you filed and it's only begotten soon. And it's, and it's gonna, you're gonna have to choose two options. And we're getting uh, approached to that, you know. Either you down with your how about Shimmy or you're gonna take that MOTB karagma to, to uh, sustain yourself in this society, you know. And that NWO agenda, which is coming very soon as well, too, because it's quickly approaching, slowly but surely. Especially with uh, December the 13th of uh, that central bank of uh, Joe Biden announced, you know, that's showing uh, increasing more proof. You know, everything is going to be going digitized, all four digital, all four digital, modern day digital, you know, and that uh, paper dollar is not going to be no more value, you know. So, yeah, we're definitely uh, going to enter in those uh, times, you know. So, with that, you know, this was just a quick uh, sit-down lesson of the movie review of uh, In Planet. And it shows you subliminal message, you know, if you don't want that stuff inside your body, you know. Or, you know, you're kind of interested in in see how it works and see how it plays out and that movie showed you some subliminal message if you take that M-A-R-K or that Karagma you know had it inside your body you know hey that thing is gonna tell you what to do you know tell you when to wake up saying you need to do this and that and then what you don't want to do even if it's good or bad nine times out of ten in that movie you know, she was doing some messed up things on there and that she didn't want to do, you know. And that bo- and that thing was messing her body up, you know. And if she would have known from the beginning if it was going to be like this, that's that thing that's uh, inside her body, which is that M-A-R-K or that B-A-A-S-T, you know. It had times where in the movie that, you know, she was kind of liking it, you know. She was taking trips and stuff like that. And then in the end, you know, it didn't work out for her, you know. It was it was it was like trying to how to balance it out, you know. And that's when that James 1 and 8 come in. A double minded person is unstable in all their ways. And then times when you do take that uh M O T B, that M A R K that's inside your body. You know, you be down with it. Like, you know, this might be cool. You know, this might work out. Next thing you know, you might have change of heart. And then you see the effects of it. And that can af- af- fully affect your life and your family's life. And your friend's life. That you interact with them. That be around them, you know. And, you're gonna, and then in the movie, she was had to make some tough decisions, you know. And the thing was telling her, hey, you're not going to see your mother if you take this guy out, you take that person out, get these files and information that was uh, causing the problems and stuff like that. So, hey, that's that uh, MOTB. You know, they was showing subliminal message in that movie and Planet, you know. So with that, you know, I uh, hope this lesson was edifying. Hopefully I was able to get the points directly, you know, with the scriptures and uh, having my talking points of the review of the uh, movie and planet. And I'm going to show it again to the audience out there of this movie. We was uh, watching with the elders and the Akim, uh, the movie and planet, you know, <clears throat> and it shows you a, either you down with uh, Esau Edom society or you're down with how about Shemel Shah. In the name of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, we, we choose the ways of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And not not the ways of this world, you know. Because Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, you know, His ways are not of this world, you know. Like the scripture says, surely your thing is turning upside down, you know. And that's Esau, Edom society. That's why he's going to come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. And that second Ezra 6 and 9 is going to come as well, too, you know. 
like it says, uh, reference Second Ezra 69, like I mentioned, saying, uh, Esau is the end of the world, Jacob beginning that fall, you know, the uh, end of Esau's Edom rulership. That's why he's coming down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time spiritual uh, Satan and physical Satan because he know has nothing but a short time. That's why he's coming down with great wrath. That's why he's seeing all the commotions and chaos that's going on around this world. And then you're going to see it now even more in the latter days with this uh, MOTB, with that Karagma being fully imp implemented, you know, because we're seeing uh, signs of that. And this is what this movie uh, is about, you know, implanting, having this stuff inside of you, you know, and that digital computerized things telling you what to do, you know, telling you you need to uh, get up, do certain things, do this. You know, because that thing was telling her doing negative, terrible things in that movie, you know. You know. So, yeah, we are getting close into that time, you know, of that MOTB, that Karagma. You know, everything is being fully digitized, fully uh, digital, cashless society. We're approaching that as well, too, you know. So, once again... You know, this was a uh, sit-down lesson review of Implanted about, you know, subliminal message in regards to the scriptures of uh, Revelations 13 and 16 through verse 17 to verse 18, Revelations 14 and 9, and uh, James 1 and 8 as well, too, you know. So hopefully those scriptures was on point. Hopefully I got my point of... Uh, of the movie and planet hopefully i was able to edify you on that as well too along with the uh scriptures and the uh review of the movie you know so with that i would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to yahweh Hashem, yahweh shai Hashem, or karkadash double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone preaching his word truthfully and sincerely Shallow one to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shallow one to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. So, this is a movie review of the planet, because the movie came out in 2021, and it's an hour and 33 minutes. You know, so hey, it show you subliminal message of that M A R K, you know. That uh, MOTB, that Karagma, everything is going to be uh, fully uh, M digitized, is fully digital of the cashless society, and it's increasing even more than ever. Either you're down with uh, the Heavenly Father, when it's only begotten Son, or you're down with Esau's Eden society. You know, Job 9 to 24, the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked, you know, and that's Esau's Edom. If you're down with his NWO, uh, agenda that's coming very soon with the cashless society and everything is going to be implemented inside your body that M-A-R-K that M-O-T-B you know as we approach those times you know so these subliminal messages in these movies be 90 to 95% or 70 to 100% actually be a reality you know so with that, I would say uh, I like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Warkar Kadash, and once again double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shallow one and a ball, ball, ball.